the chase is on. The North Carve is a versatile surf kite with down the line drift, ideal for carving up a wave face or tucking into a barrel. It also rocks as a strapless freestyle kite. For 2023, we've given the Carve a substantial overhaul. The all new Carve now has greater response throughout the full deep power range for even better drift and smoother power delivery. With direct pivot steering and effortless roll to relaunch in those critical situations between waves. In short, we've put it back into its wave riding category. A powerful, reactive and controllable kite. The new Carve has an extremely direct feel in both bar pressure and steering initiation. Today we're talking to kite designer Dan O.C. about the refinements we've made and why every kite surfer is going to be lining up for a turn with the new car. Dano draws on more than 20 years of experience in the industry. His main focus has always been wave riding equipment and wave kites. Dano is extremely lucky. He happens to live in the north of the Philippines, in a region well known for strong trade winds and pumping reef breaks, an ideal testing ground for the new carve. I know he's really put this kite through its paces with multiple iterations and new designs, and we're super stoked with the outcome. As we know, the bridles of the kite are one of the most important characteristics of how it flies. How this affects the kite is in the terms of the deep power stroke, the feeling in the bar, the reactiveness of the steering, and how the kite drifts. The kite just has a greater response through the whole D-Power stroke, rather than it just being really close to you and only reacting in the 50% of the bar stroke closest to you. Now we've opened up the whole bar stroke so you have reaction and direct steering all the way to 100%. You can really push the bar away and still have reaction. That drift enhancement, it's not only bridles, we've improved the whole balance of the kite. So when your lines go slack on a wave, the kite is really well balanced. It will not back stall, it will not front stall. It will just glide down the line waiting for your bar input. The carve has an extremely direct feel in both bar pressure and the steering. But we've sacrificed a little of that bar pressure just so we can get a better drifting and more responsive kite. The rider will have better control of the kite, especially when it's not visible. When he's doing a big bottom turn or a big cutback, trying to pull into a little barrel, you will be riding the wave instead of getting muscled by the kite. The high end wind range of the kite has been enhanced. We've thinned out the LE and the profiles a little and the pull is less aggressive. So what this means is it will not rip you off a wave, it won't pull you aggressively down the line while you're trying to surf. But also what it does is it offers a much softer landing when you're doing big jumps. You'll glide longer and you'll come down softer. For 2023, we've used a lightweight two-ply instead of a heavier material in the trailing edge in other areas. What this does is it allows the kite to not only be lighter, but have a double ply, which is actually stronger than one layer of material. Also, it's softer, so when the kite twists in the turns, you get more of a faster reaction. For this year, we've used all lightweight bladders in all sizes. So the weight savings and performance gains can be felt across the range. The kite will feel even lighter and more responsive in all conditions, and particularly in light wind, a real advantage in the bigger sizes. We reduced the high buoyancy leading edge diameter just a little bit to reduce the aggressive pull of the kite and also help it with its upwind ability. But also it just creates a much smoother power delivery while riding. With a slightly smaller leading edge, the kite will travel faster through the air, twist more rapidly in turns and an overall being a faster kite. Having a reduced leading edge doesn't affect the relaunch in any way. If anything, it enhances it. When the kite is nose down in the water, um, having a smaller diameter leading edge would actually allow the tips to twist slightly. So when you're pulling on the line to backwind the kite for relaunch, it would actually get better reaction. The carb has a lot of leading edge sweep when you view it from the side, and the wing tips are not particularly wide. This puts a lot of the usable area in the center of the kite, rather than in the wing tips like higher aspect kites. 
The lower aspect of the carb is what makes it stable, pivot turn and drift. For the average rider, it will be a much smoother and user-friendly experience. For the experienced guys and girls, they'll get a lot more out of the kite. Because the carve has such impressive power and efficiency, we still recommend going a size smaller for wave riding. So when everyone's on a seven, you'll pull out your six. Although we've reduced the profile and the LE size, this has reduced slightly the power from the bar, but the kite now flies faster, which generates more power and apparent wind. Better board speed, you'll go faster upwind, and you will just have a more consistent pull in the kite. The carve gives you the confidence to really focus on your surfing, onshore, offshore, and anything in between. Free ride and strapless freestyle riders will also love the improvements in hang time, the catch and the kite loops and the softer landings.